Just into us, President Trump wants to invite Russian President Vladimir Putin to Washington, D.C. this fall. The White House says the president asked the National Security Advisor to make the invitation, and discussions are reportedly underway. Now, the news comes as President Trump faces continued fallout from the messages he's sending since his meeting with Putin in Helsinki on Monday. CBS 4's Angelica Alvarez has more from the White House. President Trump signed an executive order establishing a new jobs training initiative for American workers at the White House. But the spotlight remained on the president's conflicting statements about whether he believes Russia meddled in the 2016 presidential election. You haven't condemned Putin specifically. Do you hold him personally responsible? Well, I would because he's in charge of the country, just like I consider myself to be responsible for things that happen in this country. So certainly as the leader of a country, you would have to hold him responsible, yes. The president is facing increasing pressure to explain why he didn't publicly denounce Russian President Vladimir Putin during their summit in Helsinki. Dan Coates, the chief intelligence officer, says he stands by those findings. I wished he had made a different statement. Uh, but I think that now that has uh, been uh, clarified. Republicans in the House Intelligence Committee blocked a vote by Democrats to subpoena the interpreter who was in the room with Mr. Trump and Putin for their nearly two-hour private meeting. We do not buy the denial of Vladimir Putin. Uh, we regret that our president did. The president also received criticism for not shutting down a request from Putin to interrogate former U.S. Ambassador Michael McFaul. A bipartisan resolution passed the Senate 98 to 0, opposing any attempt to make U.S. diplomats available to Russia for questioning. Angelica Alvarez, CBS News, the White House. And back to that meeting with President Putin. No date has been set for that as negotiations are ongoing.